And now updates from the Russia-Ukraine war where shelling continues from both the sides. Ukraine's military says that its troops have repelled Russian assaults in multiple areas while they are bracing for a third wave of Russian offensive in a bit to capture the key frontline eastern town of Adwitka. And as per Ukrainian interior minister, Russia bombed 118 Ukrainian towns and villages in the last 24 hours, more than on any other day this year. As for the ministry, 10 of Ukraine's 27 regions had come under an attack and there have been multiple deaths and injuries. Meanwhile, shelling by Ukrainian forces killed six people in the city of Donetsk on Tuesday, while a further 11 people have also been injured. And all this is as per a Russian stall official in the eastern region of Ukraine. Russia's defense ministry says its air defense systems destroyed and intercepted a total of 17 Ukraine-launched drones over the Black Sea and Crimea on Tuesday, which was thought that it did not mention any casualties. On the other hand, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has said that Ukraine has deployed more Western air defense systems. This in preparation for an expected Russian onslaught on key energy infrastructure during the winter season. Meanwhile, visuals on your screens, it shows Ukrainian artillery soldiers filing rockets from makeshift grad launchers at the front line in Zaporizhia region. The army unit equipped pickup trucks with rocket launch pipes from Soviet era. Grad systems, and as per them, the makeshift system has greater mobility and flexibility than any other launcher. Meanwhile, negotiations over the war also continue in the latest G7 foreign ministers are expected to hold discussions on the war. The two-day meet is currently underway in Tokyo. Turkey has also renewed its offer to host negotiations to end the war. This was done by Turkish foreign minister during talks with his Belarusian counterpart. The Turkish minister reportedly said that he wanted a peaceful end to the ongoing war. Meanwhile, as for the reports, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov is chairing a meeting of ambassadors from 35 nations on the war. And we will keep you updated as more details of the meeting comes out.